hauntingly beautiful stained glass window in which a man holds a scythe in one hand and some ethereal power in the other. A saint kneels before a shepherd, jubilantly terrified. A small lectern for a priest. You know, Steve, <clears throat> I don't think you want to open the casket. Okay, good, it's empty. An empty vessel of the dead. The imprint of a head, buttocks, and sliding heels are scraped into the thick dust of the pew. God almighty, this is just... So much nope. So much nope. I don't know what I was thinking coming here, but God bless. All right. Let's run back over to Mr. Johnson. See if he's interested at all in the nudie mag. That really doesn't interest me, Steve. Really? Color me shocked. <laughs> Color me shocked. I don't want to go to the cemetery. <laughs> And the cemetery is right next to the lodge, of course. Of course. I don't want to play this game anymore. Here lies Boxcar Willie. R.I.P. the unnamed hobo. The air here reeks of fresh soil and manure. Okay, that scared me too. Headstone of this gravesite reads Jonathan A. Rhinecliff. Two years in harvest was too long. Fear not in death, Monty Jakes. November 27th, 1948, another unknown visitor. This tombstone is unmarked. <sighs> and yet somehow this is even more terrifying. Yet another resting place amongst the graves. I don't want to sit down there. I think that would be my final resting place. <laughs> Marble doors have been sealed shut. Yeah, can we leave? Please? Please, Steve? Look at the way he walks. It's just like, don't be do not be don't be do not do Yeah, how about we leave? Thanks. Okay, so here's the fire station, the police station, Edna's diner, and a newspaper building. I want to go see these firemen. What the heck was that guy talking about? Harvest Fire Department. Yeah, what? It's pink! Fire truck with a lovely shade of pink. Oh, man. I have a feeling this is going to get really awkward in a few seconds. Please excuse the mess. They've did wonders with the upstairs bedroom, but this garage defies color coordination. Yep. We're gonna go there. Sorry, Steve. After I'm through here, I've got cleaning to do. Rush, rush. Sorry, Steve. This might merit an amusing result. Sorry, Steve. No. Oh, do I want to go in there? No. But I will. <sighs> why, why, why? 
Don't bother me, I'm sketching. Oh, look what you made me do! Stop it, you're messing me up! Stop it, you're messing me up! Saliva is foaming from his barking chops. Picture of phallic-like structures standing all in a row. An impressionistic landscape. A photorealistic mural of a peaceful countryside. A well-endowed nude man standing in the moonlight. Okay, that's great. An accident just waiting to happen. What does that mean? Oh, gosh. I don't converse on the job, Steve. I don't converse. I don't like that these guys know my name. Hello, Steve. Welcome to the House of Flame, as we like to call it. Oh, cut it out, Spoth. Honestly. Once he gets barking, a good piece of meat is the only way to shut him up. Not even gonna say there it. There you go, Spoth. Oh, Steve, Why me? bet you don't remember me. Heard about that short in the old wiring. I'm Fire Marshal Sparky, head of your fire department. Short. Please, it's not the subject, it's the process. Besides, then why are you sketching nude department? men in my fire the department? The paper building burned down. So I'll admit that the wasp woman's place is one big accident. No, waiting don't to show happen. me. No. Isn't that right, Spots? I needed to see that. A dreadful affair. You wouldn't think that a brick and steel building with a sprinkler system could go up that quickly. Oh, please. Dwayne was glad enough to see the thing go up, and so was McKnight. If you could get into that safe in his wall... <sighs> Forget it. Look, Steve, as far as I know, the fire was an accident. Let's just leave it at that. I gotta say, this this is impressive. Literally every single place I go, I get more freaked out by in this Some game. Every single all place. Sit around, sketching, fetching examples of manhood for our own amusement. Nothing could be further from the truth. Why, just the other day we cited Ted to a crumb for fire code violations. All the dried out paper, paper wasp nests clustered around her wooden house. Why, it's a chem log just waiting for the right faggot. Okay, really? Believe me, none of us wants to see another fiasco like the Sentinel fire. I don't know if this game is just trying to annoy me, or they honestly think it's clever, some of this writing. I already asked about that. Bye bye. Bye bye. Can't talk now, Steve. I'm inspired. Jesus. Bye bye. Oh, once again, I, 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 I just want to do nothing but leave. Not a single thing but leave. This game is just so fucked up on so many levels. And you know, I'm good. I mean, this, <laughs> this is such a messed up game. No, I, I, I gotta stop. I can only take so much of this. <laughs> oh, save again. This is just fucked up, man. Oh, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for continuing to watch. It's Chronos006 signing out. I'll see you next time. Take care. My god, is this game fucked up.